What's up guys? I'm just here laying in my bed here to talk to you guys about some Bitcoin prices. So let's take a look at what's been going on in the past few days since the last video I made. Um, you can see a few hours ago we had a decent price spike from about 66 to 6800 or so. And since then not much has happened. But you can also see that we are starting to see these moving averages, the 20 and 50 day moving averages, squeeze the price a little bit. Um, so which side is it going to break out to? I would assume the downside for the following couple of reasons. And you should hope for a price squeeze to the downside also. Because we are here at a week 8 of downtrending. And if we, um, the, the week 8 is going to close tomorrow, because tomorrow's Sunday, um, if we see the week 8 close above this week 4 here, which closed around 67.50, so if we see the week 8 close above 67.50, that is not good in the next couple of months um, in terms of the price, because what that means is instead of seeing a week 9 here, we're going to see the count reset to a 1, and we will see a a next uh, you know possibly a nine form again after that so what we want to see is get this eight to close below 6700 below this fourth candle here and for next week for the price to continue going down in that for that week nine to close on a strong downtrend to see a strong um, a strong upswing in price for the next couple of weeks um, so I think those 20 and 50 day moving averages um, are gonna squeeze the price downwards so for the during the week 9 and that we could see possibly return to the 6,000 level in price um, or somewhere around there is where I would hope and that we can close week 9 on the downtrend and have a stronger upswing in the next coming months um, another thing, if we look at the weekly chart, we can see the converging of the 20 and 50 week moving averages. So we can go back here and see uh, what has happened in the past when those two have converged. Um, not this one, but we can go back and see right here when they both converged with the 20 week above the 50 week and they converge, we saw the price go from roughly 517 to around the 300 level in the following month or so. So that's still a pretty substantial decrease in price. Um, I'm not too confident that we could see um, something like that happen again right now, but it is still a an indicator that the price is going to decrease in the near future, which again, we want it to decrease because we want to close out on a weekly nine. So we can see an upswing, a strong upswing in the next coming month or so. And then let's go to the monthly chart, which I want to show you guys something. Um, if you can see now we're on a week five of nine of downtrending on the monthly, and if you go back here, we can see what one, two, three, a, a series of three nine monthly increases in price before the price started to go downwards. That is absolutely insane. So the fact that we are only on five months of downtrending after seeing such a magnificent bull run, um, it is not very promising that we will see a bull run return anytime soon, but I do not think that we will be seeing uh, multiple series of nines on the monthly in decreasing price for it to be able to come back up again, just because of all the news, um, all the popularity that Bitcoin has gained, you know, during this, this last year or six months even, um, that people want to get in this, in this market. So I don't see that happening, but what I possibly see happening is that we close out on the nine monthly even, and then we can have a possibility of a very strong bounce back into a bull market um, after if that does really happen. But 
again, just speculation, not really sure what's going to happen. But in the short term, in the next couple of weeks, um, I would hope for week eight to close below week four here or below 67.50. We close out on this on a nine that is downtrending, possibly having the price go down around 6,000 again or so. And then we have a a relatively strong what would possibly most likely be a dead cap bounce up to who knows where and then possibly the price starts to decrease again but um we're going to be paying attention to this this candle um tomorrow seeing what the week closes out on and that if we either get reset back to a week one or if we get uh we get that nine uh, the weekly nine that we are hoping to see in order to see a better uh, increase in price in the long term. Um, so if we also go back to, let's see, the four hour, we can see where that price spike was from earlier today. Um, you know, decent increase in price. Uh, RSI didn't get up there very much. Let's go back here. We saw a bit of... Um, the RSI peaking over the 70 range uh, for the first time in how long since since early May, which um, some people are saying is you know is a good is a good uh, possibility that the price is going to start going up again. But again, let's take a closer look at this and see. You can see. Okay, so it was about 73. That's not a very strong indicator. I want to see this RSI really spiking up there like we saw back here in April with it at, say, 82, something like that. So I would expect, you know, at least a, a 10 increase in the RSI for it to have any kind of significance. I, I don't think three points is, is really going to mean much. Um, so... Let's see, what else can we look at here? Um, so again, we're just gonna see what this price squeeze comes down to, the 20 and 50 day moving averages, hoping that it goes to the downtrend because we want this weekly eight to turn into a weekly nine to see the price decrease in the week to come in order to have a stronger bounce in the next couple of months to see the price head uh, Head back upwards and then we also have the convergence of the 50 and 20 day uh, 20 week moving averages uh, which also as we saw in the past is probably an indicator for the price to decrease uh, let's take a look at the volume that we saw the price spike from earlier in the day um, you know you see the volume here not substantial at all again not even half the height of the volume we saw in the second when the price increased from 63 to 6700 whenever I released my previous video. So again, this, this price spike really doesn't mean anything at all to me. Um, so hopefully in the next week or so, we'll have some more news and I will discuss it with you guys whenever that happens. But as of now, that's all I really want to discuss in this video. If you guys enjoyed me talking uh, about this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please comment, let me know. Um, please subscribe, subscribe to my channel, um, like the video, share it with your friends, your family, your grandparents, whoever, and let me know what you want to see in a video in the future. And I will talk to you guys next time. Adios.